guys. So I realize it's kind of been a little while. Um, it's been spring break, so I've been kind of enjoying that. Sorry. I hope no one was too offended that I was like gone for a little while or like MIA and busy, whatever. Um, I thought another video to do kind of on the tag sort of thing was a what's in my purse. So it's easy and um, I'm tired, so that's what you're getting. Hopefully I'll film one more video tonight just to um, get it rounded out. Ideally I'd love to do something twice a week, but at this point all I really have time for is two videos in one night. So you're going to see multiple outfits worn a lot, but whatever, whatever, just deal with it. So first of all, I guess I'm supposed to talk about the bag, that's the kind of the important part. And my bag is from Coach. I got it at the outlets. It was insanely cheap. I don't know if you can kind of tell. It's a nice olivey green color. The rest of the accents are gold. Um, and it's got the short strap and the attached crossbody long strap, which I use way more often than the short one, but whatever. Um, my recommendation if you want a coach bag, they're, they're definitely worth the money. Don't get me wrong. They hold up well. They last forever, and the stitching is really, really nice, but I understand it's kind of an expensive purchase, especially if you're in, like me and you're in college and you're poor and, you know, whatever. But if you go to the outlets, um, there are certain days where they'll have like these crazy super sales where they're trying to get rid of extra product, but then they give you a coupon on top of it, like a 30% off or something like that. So this bag was actually on the sale rack, in addition to a sale they were running that week, in addition to the coupon that they gave me that day. So it was really, really cheap. Like I think it was under, I know it was under 100 because I got the matching wallet and that took me to about 100. And although that's still really expensive, I've had this for about a year and, or not, maybe not a year. I think I got it for my birthday actually. No, 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 I take that back. I got it for Christmas. So it's been a few months. But I have tortured this bag. I mean, it's seen, I'm sure, better days. And it looks brand new. So I like it. I think it's definitely worth it. Especially the, wa the matching wallet. I just think that's so great. And the detail on this is really cool. It's got this little flat pocket. And it's got kind of a, I wouldn't say, uh, maybe like a crocodile or alligator sort of accent um, on the leather. I just think that's so... I don't know, I just really liked it. And I really wanted a purse that wasn't brown or black, but was a color that I, I know that I'll love and that I'll continue to love, even though it's, you know, out of style or whatever. But this is the one I really like, so that's my bag. Like I said before, I got the matching wallet, and I love it. It's kind of one of these, got lots of pockets. There's tons of card space, which I have filled up with my rewards card, so don't think I have like a million credit cards. I have two and then a bunch of rewards cards. But it holds, I mean, just, it holds a ton, honestly. The only thing I guess I'm kind of eh about is, I think the back flap is supposed to be for your checks, which I don't carry with me anyway, because I think that's kind of dangerous. But the coin pocket is on the inside, which is kind of neither here nor there, but I just thought that was kind of interesting. It's different. Whatever. It's different. All right. Next thing that's in my purse was my sunglasses. I don't know if you all y'all have this problem, but I love lens crafters because they have everything there. It only takes an hour. Um, I rarely have problems with them. Every time something breaks, you know, I can take it in there. Or if I was being dumb and I, I you know, I dropped them and whatever. They're really, really awesome, and they have a 30-day um, return policy. Where, Sorry, my dogs are really loud again. I told you, every time I film, they want to touch me and bother me and whatever. Um, now you're going to bring out the toilet. That's classy. I'm sure everyone out there that has dogs understands how, like, gross they are and how they want to drink out of a toilet, even though you have a perfectly good water dish, like, two feet away. Whatever. Anyway. Hey. Quit that. Quit that. Gross. Gross. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, 
Um, the only thing that I really dislike about lens crafters is that they're crazy expensive. And I don't mind because I take really good care of my sunglasses and my glasses, obviously, so they last me a few years. But it's to, to me, it's just like, I don't know. But they have better styles, their products are way better. Because every time I've gone to a different eyeglass place, the glasses are, they never hold up as nicely as these do. Or whatever. So I have, um, what are these called? I guess they're Ralph by Ralph Lauren. Whatever, super fancy. They make me look like a bug. I love them. They're prescription, obviously, because I'm blind as a bat. But they make me feel like a sexy bug, celebrity, impersonator, whatever. I like them. I like them. I like them. So that's my... My Rottweiler is in my shower. I don't know what that's all about. I guess it feels good. Maybe it's like cooling on his on his sweaty paws. I don't understand why he's in there, but whatever. Like I said, if you have dogs, you totally understand what I'm talking about. So anyway, um, I love these. I wish they weren't so expensive, but it was down between these and contacts, and these last for about four years. Contacts last me about a year, and they're the same price, so I figured that's what I'll do. Next, is, well, I have a, a large assortment of pens because, like I said, I'm a college student, so you always need a pen. I got beret or barrettes? Beret. Beret is the hat. Barrettes are the clips. Whatever. I have that. And then I have a little bag. I got this from Origins when they were doing one of their kits where it was like Vitazine and a, an eye cream, whatever. It was like one of their promo deal type things. Anyway, the bag is adorable. And it's kind of a woven-y, canvas -y feel, but it's perfect for holding my tchotchke whatevers. So I've got my Fresh Market Apple hand sanitizer. It smells good. That's why I like it, honestly. I use it all the time, but neither here nor there. I've got my Coors Pomegranate... Pomegranate Grenade? That's a weird title for that. I never noticed that. Okay, well, it's the pomegranate cores in the little jar. So lip butter type things. It was way cheaper than the lipstick and the, um, there was, there was like a squeezy tube or whatever. I don't know if there's more product in the other ones, but it was like $4 cheaper just to have it in the tub. And I'm like, I'm okay with that. Then I've got a Burt's Bees chapstick, because I do. Um, my Origins Ginger Souffle Whipped Body Cream. I really like this. I want to get the full size when I'm done with my 10 pan nonsense. Um, because I really, really like this. And it's... Smells really good. It's very strong. If you're not into ginger, you might want to go smell this before you buy it. Just FYI, because it's like super strong. But... Yeah, that's strong. But I love it. I think it's really good. And it actually helps me from getting nauseated. I know that sounds really strange, but like sometimes if I'm in the car and I'm on a long trip, I start to feel kind of, uh, you know, it's the same effect as like chewing on a lemon or like eating Altoids or something like that. I can't stop smelling it. I really like that. I like that. I like that. So that's the thing I carry around. Um, I have some lady stuff in here. I'm not going to share that because we don't need to talk about that. And then I've got, I've got a Sharpie in here. That's kind of weird. I've got a Clinique chubby stick. I got, this is not the full size. This is one of their little um, promo type, spend $20, get a kit thing. This one in it is in, uh, there it is, Super Strawberry. This is really nice. I kind of, mm, the color is fine on me. I'm just not in love. So I probably won't repurchase, but I might get this in a different color. So the product is good, the color's not great, whatever. Then I've got a Revlon Lip Butter in Tutti Frutti. This is that crazy, crazy bright orange one. I'm kind of digging it. I don't know if it's a... I wouldn't say it's a dupe for the... Oh, what's it called? Sheer... Sheer Voluptual... Sheer Volupte Candy? Whatever. The one by YSL. The product is amazing, but 30 bucks. It's like... But this is too orange to be a dupe for that. But like texture wise, I don't know. I kind of think it's similar. So I usually just mix this and the chubby stick and it gets a pretty similar. 
So I like that when I'm filling a, a pop color. I've got my MAC Sheer Cover, or no, whoops, sorry. Select Moisture Cover in NW15. Um, just, I like it because it's on the go. I like stick or wand things when I'm out and about because I don't like dealing with the brushes and pots and tra la la. And then I've got my Travelo, and it's got, which one is this? It's Burberry. This is the Burberry, whatever the original one is. I think it's Burberry London. It's got the canvas around the outside. <sighs> That's my favorite. This is a good one if you're, you want something strong, but not too intense. And it mixes with my skin and my scent. That sounds gross. I don't have a scent. Whatever. My body chemistry works really well with this, so I like to carry it around. Um, I've got a tin of Altoids. I had a tin of bobby pins in an Altoid tin, but, or I'm sorry, I had bobby pins that I kept in another Altoid tin, not the same one. But anyway, I don't know where that one went. It disappeared. And I've got a little notepad. It's got a W for my last name because I'm classy like that. And this is just to help me keep track of stuff. A lot of times people call me um, for work and I have to write things down. Whatever. And my keys, obviously. I have kind of a lot going on here. Obviously, car, house keys. I got a flash drive for school and a clicker because I'm feeding my mom's cats. So I needed that. And my iPod. This isn't my original one. My original one had a really cute cover, but um, I it's it was like six years old and started to kind of crap out on me and my mom never used hers, so I borrowed it and then never gave it back. So, sorry mom. She's, she's long gone to other gadgets. This is not really up her alley, to be totally fair. So we got her a different one that was like the, what's the little one? It's like, Mm, it doesn't have a screen. Whatever. We got her that one. And she she's more into that. So whatever. And that's kind of it. Did I touch on everything? Yeah. That's that's everything. So I keep all my, like I said before, I keep all my little makeup products and my lady things in a little cute little bag. That's how I keep organized in my purse. And then I keep all my receipts in my, in a separate pocket in my purse, or my my wallet just to keep organized because that's the thing that they don't really warn you about when you get nice purses like you know your your I don't know what you what rich people buy Chanel I guess whatever um obviously it's going to last longer if you take care of it so anytime you have something that's like a, got a a pop top lid or um, is a bright color or a liquid or anything like that. I mean, keep it in a separate case because you want your purse to stay nice as long as possible. If you blew all that money into it, you might as well, you know, keep it classy. Keep it classy, San Francisco. That's how I feel about it. So that's what's in my purse. Sorry, it's not very exciting. I want everything cool in there. Sorry, I'm shoving everything back in my bag. That's what it looks like all full. It's heavy. But, um, yeah, like I said, sorry that wasn't exciting. I normally have more stuff in it, but I actually cleaned it out last week because it was getting kind of kind of too heavy for me. It made my shoulders hurt. So, hope you enjoyed that. If you have a what's in my bag tag, feel free to respond um, down in there with a video comment or what are they called? Video responses or just a list of what's in your purse or whatever. I like trying new things. I like products and that kind of junk so if you give me some recommendations now when I get done with 10 pan then I'll try out those and do a proper review so I'll talk to you soon bye